Okay, um, there's a possible problem you may have had, which I haven't addressed yet. Um, I want to show you the problem that might have come up for you already uh, in JavaScript. And uh, I've created a file called js03a.htm, and I'm going to drag it over into my Explorer window here, and you'll see that I'll get an error message here. A runtime error has occurred. Do you wish to debug? Uh, line six, error object expected. And then I have a uh, chance of saying, uh, or choice of saying yes or no here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on no here. Now, I have um, the visual inner dev installed on my computer, which will allow me actually to open this web page up and debug it. Um, so you may get a different uh, dialog box. But basically, the uh, JavaScript that I typed up won't work. But if you look at the JavaScript for JSO3A, you will notice that everything seems to be right. Okay, um, There's actually one little change, which if you have very sharp eyes, you can pick out. And that is that the word confirm, I spelled with a capital letter here. And that, in fact, is what is causing the script to bomb out. And this is very annoying, because when um, these dialog boxes come up, um, saying that there's an error. The user thinks that something um, that uh, has that they've done wrong, okay, and that's something you should avoid at all costs because people are paranoid enough that they're using these computers and computers are are basically controlling their lives. Um, so they think that uh, if they they've made a mistake and it's something that they've done to screw up. And so you want to, again, avoid that. Um, but the main thing to take away from this particular exercise or this particular point is that JavaScript is case sensitive. It is very, very, very important that when you type out function names and variables and whatever, you use um, the proper mixture of upper and lower case. And in fact, there is no such thing in JavaScript as a capital C confirm. And in order to get this JavaScript to operate correctly, you're going to or execute properly. You're going to need to change that capital C to a lowercase c. Okay? So I'm going to save this as uh, js03b.htm. Okay? And I'm going to do this out of the desktop here. And if I take that same script modified just by that one letter, you can see that now the script executes flawlessly.